Bruce Grobelar must forget about the speculation over his successor and concentrate on keeping Liverpool in the Coca-Cola Cup tonight. The 36-year-old plays behind what now looks like one of the most solid back fours in Britain. Julian Dix has recovered from a knee injury to replace Stigan Gabjornaby at left-back. Just one other change from the team which drew with Manchester City on Saturday. Steve Harkness is chosen to take over from the injured Mark Walters. There's a great cop reception for one of their old favourites, John Walk, who shared a phrase or two with his old friend Graham Suness before the game. It's which make just one alteration from the team which won the first in nine Premiership matches at Wimbledon on Wednesday. Boncho Gunchev, the first Bulgarian to play in English top-level soccer, comes in for Chris Kiwomia, who's injured. The referee tonight is John Lloyd, who remembers his last League Cup match involving Liverpool. They beat Fulham by ten goals to nil. Nigel Clough has recovered enough from a virus to take a seat on the substitutes bench. And Ian Rush kicks off for Liverpool. He's the uh, lone survivor in the starting lineup from those days when Liverpool dominated the League Cup, winning it four times in the early 80s. He was still at infant school, Robbie Fowler. Gunchev, the right and Ruddock, looks so assured together now and Ruddock gives Fowler a run up against Linnigan. A short start from Liverpool, Fowler's cross and Forrest has to come off his line and grab onto it, the ball put into the net and the goal is given. Well, less than a minute gone and Rush his old predatory self on the edge of the six-yard box. The goalkeeper seemed to have done very well coming for the ball when his defenders didn't want it. And you don't drop it when Ian rushes around. We'll see now if he had a case and he was fouled. Well, the ball, was it in his hands? Was it under his control? Rush wasn't hanging around to see. And it's 1-0. Goalkeeper's union might be on to it for that one. Forward chaps, the Ipswich bench. Stockwell plays it forward, Ruddock applies the boot. Forward, forward. Ipswich not renowned for Route 1 stuff. Gunchev. Walk to Thompson, he's a player who packs a shot. Squirves a little bit, but Grobelar was behind it all of the way. But he really can hit them, Neil Thompson. Holds answer to Ronald Kerman. Right, building from the back. Misses out midfield and gets Matteo into the game. Does better this time. It's not a bad cross, whipped in. Just beyond Fowler. The promising sign and the first chance that Nabhio has had to get past his uh, marker, Mickey Stockwell. Fine pass from defence and he took it into his path and fairly whipped it in away from the goalkeeper. Stewart just takes the sting out of the situation. Linnigan, again is caught out, and again it's Rush who has a shot at goal, and out of his nose. You don't give Ian Rush two chances like that. It's food and drink to him. And they were celebrating the goal as soon as Linnigan had made the mistake. Tries to explain what was going on. But he did have space, and just look at Rush closing him down. Just spotted the mistake, through the goalkeeper, and he knows where the cop end goal is. Two goals already for Ian Rush, just over a quarter of an hour gone. And Rush is uh, possibly after Robbie Fowler's record of five in the last round.
Would it? Test Grobola with that one. And a free goal to Ian Marshall. Well, you could class that as Ipswich Town's first real shot on goal. Ian Marshall did the professional thing. He closed down the goalkeeper. And all Grobola could do was hit his six foot two frame. Hit his chest and put it into the goal. And that will go down to Poro Bruce Grobola's clips of odd goals given away. It's not the first, I'm sure it won't be the last. But not a good one to give away when uh, the manager's talking about signing a £2 million goalkeeper. Mr. Jones. Lip switch. They're coming out now and playing with three attackers. That's left them a little short at the back. Rush back to Nickel. Oh, too casual, was it? Well, it looked casual, but I'm sure he knew what he was doing because Robbie Fowler stole in and noticed by everybody at the far post. Little wink from the youngster. Good passing movement, back it came, I thought it was a shot, but he knew that Fowler likes those passes at the far post and you'd think it was Rush, wouldn't you? First touch for Milton, and Marshall just launches himself at Neil Ruddock. No love lost between those two. Here. Stewart, Nickel, the play between the centre midfielders to rush. Nice flip from him. Can Stewart finish the move that he started? Needed a touch from Forrest, but he is looking good. He forced Forrest to full stretch there, Paul Stewart. He started the move on the halfway line. Again, it was rush in the thick of the action. And the shot hit the target, that's the main thing. Now Jones. Jones again, scooping it to the far post. Matteo gets a chance, just falls to Fowler and the topo goes wide. But he does have an instinct for goal. The softest of, softest of touches sometimes score off Matteo's knee and then his ankle and Fowler off balance almost forced Forrest into the save there he goes Fowler again nice little turn it's on his left foot now Matteo is uh, an experience there. I'm sure if it had been a reserve game, he would have had a clear shot at goal. He's clearly enjoying the experience, but uh, his school report will say that he could have done better. It was his uh, reserve team teammate, Fowler, who set up the chance. Matteo had it on his better left foot, but uh, neither a cross nor a shot nor a pass. Rush to Stewart. Spurred and he's Fowler. Matteo makes the decoy run. Fowler gets the space and can't curl it around Forrest. Oh, Fowler certainly isn't lacking confidence. Not too many 18-year-olds can bring the ball in from the touchline and try a shot from that distance. That's Jones. Marshall, the Ipswich Town hero so far. To Goodchef. Offside. Long 
ball used, Rush flicks it on, Fowler's around there, Livick in the game, lets it go, now a chance for Jones, and just over. But again, the Ipswich central defenders leaving the ball for each other, they've given away two goals, surely not a third. This time it was Thompson and Linigan who left it. Fowler just played it to Jones, who couldn't find the target. And the captain needs to lead by example. Not happy, David Linigan. Harkness urged forward. Fowler makes a run. Simple ball to Jones. Shows his skills. Not a good cross. Milton, the substitute, is in. Marshall to Thompson. Flowing game. Oh, Marshall, good footwork. Wright caught in, and Wright's going to go into the book for that one. Late challenge, bad challenge. Takes his name and number. The yellow card is administered. Rush turning, rush foul. Not the first time that uh, Whelan and Russia collided. And a free kick to Liverpool in a very dangerous situation. Four-man wall becomes a five-man wall. And two of Liverpool's expensive signings are lining up for this one. It's Dixon Ruddock. It's Dixon who has a shot. Morris can't hold it. Rush was just waiting for the chance. Stunning shot from Dix. Goalkeeper couldn't hold it. Did the next best thing. Got his fists in the way of it. Julian Dix awaits his first Liverpool goal. Stockwell away. One touch pass from Stewart. Dix has another chance and Forrest denies him again. Two very strong shots from Julian Dix inside the space of what 30 seconds. And he packs a punch. Again, Forrest couldn't get his hands cleanly around it. John Lloyd ends a fairly entertaining first half, which started with a fumble in the first minute from Craig Forrest, which gave Ian Rush his first goal, and Rush made it 2-0 15 minutes later. Bruce Grobelard's antics in his own 18-yard box, his attempted clearance came off the chest of uh, Ian Marshall, and it switched out, still in with a very, very good chance in this one. Half-time score at Anfield, Liverpool 2, Ipswich 1. So Ipswich Town kick off the second half with hard given by Ian Marshall's goal. Sixth time they've played Liverpool in the League Cup. They're still to beat them. No substitutions made by either manager. Liverpool have the strength of Nigel Clough on the bench should they require him. The youngsters doing them proud. Matteo plays it to... Fowler. Goalkeeper can't pick that up and he had to be quick with the boot. Who else but Ian Rush was bearing down on him. Safest thing to do from Mark Wright. Get it out quickly. Nigel Clough heavily wrapped up on this cold Merseyside evening. The theatrical uh, Little jump over the ball by Paul Stewart. He's okay to carry on. He's watching Mickel take on the defence and doing it very well, but can't find Stewart with a pass. Well done, Milton. The chef turns Ruddock. Both players are going to require treatment. Ruddock went down awkwardly on his wrist. And for the ball, but through the man. 
little things like a sprained wrist don't stop the play of Neil Ruddock. Right. Slater bearing down on Jones. chance then timed his run very well you can see why Graham Sunes describes him as an athlete but Forrest got down very competently to block his shot Liverpool bench screaming for Matteo to close down the fullback one thing is for certain with these youngsters they won't be allowed to live in cloud cuckoo land with uh, the likes of Ronnie Moran on the training staff here he is offering some fatherly advice is for him oh dear so close Jones I think started to celebrate then he thought he'd scored he's had more scoring opportunities tonight than he probably has had in the rest of his Liverpool career just required the lob he's going to have to go back to the uh, Ian Rush school of finishing Dix to Matteo to Matteo again red throat Fowler controls the ball at pace and will settle for a corner Wright and Ruddock the edge of the D, now they come in. Ruddock gets the header, not far away. Times his run so well, didn't get the header he wanted. The two centre halves went for it, Wright provided the decoy. Ruddock came in late. Liverpool had the better of the opening quarter of this second half. Stuart Slater. Nice flick to Milton. Oh, the spectacular, the chair didn't have the height to beat Dix in the air. And the travelling fans getting behind their team. Nickel. Wright, Stewart and John Walk who has always ruled the centre of the Anfield Park, letting Paul Stewart know that he's around. The referee plays advantage, this is Dix. Matteo. Matteo back to Stewart. Fowler makes a good run behind the defence, the flag stays down, what a great run, and oh, what a great goal! Ian Rush claims his hat-trick, but that was down solely to Robbie Fowler.
Ian Rush three, Ipswich Town one. But just look at the run of Fowler there. And I thought it was Rush. Rush was the one at the far post doing what he does best. And you could say that it's, uh, in theory, Ian Rush's best striking partner since Kenny Dalgleish. And the few games they've played together, they certainly have hit it off. the ankles of Thompson, Ipswich certainly haven't given up. And Ipswich make the substitution, Steve Whitten comes on, he'll have 25 minutes to impress. Everybody forward for Ipswich Town, six-man wall for Liverpool. Flicked over the top, Marshall comes in, and all he could do was put it into the waiting hands of Robillard but he had the whole goal to aim at. He could have had a clearer view of goal, and he found the green-shirted keeper. Rush again. Nice pass, asking too much, though, of Fowler. Hutchison trying to make a name for himself. Thompson deals with that. No nonsense style. Had a good game, Neil Thompson. Now look, Hutchison. Wide it goes to Matteo. Space to operate in. Stewart alongside him. Nice flick. Hutchison's round the back. Ball it in. Forrest can't hold it. It does the second time getting little protection from his defence, Craig Forrest. Don Hutchison with those fresh legs, whacking it in there, possibly the best thing he could do, hoping it would come off one of the bodies and cannon into the goal. Nineteen thousand and fifty-eight. the uh, official attendance tonight, which is about uh, half of the Premiership average, but I'm sure the... Uh, Figures will look up as Liverpool progress in the Coca-Cola Cup. Oh, Switch down. Far from finished. They've got 15 minutes to pull back these two goals, and they've got a penalty. Mark Wright looks a little shocked. He knows it hit his arm. The question is, was it intentional? The only view that really matters is John Lloyd. As he pointed out before the game, he knows the game inside out. He's the only man in the country refereeing professionally who's played professionally. And he views that as a deliberate handball. Minor arguments from Mark Wright. And it's getting a little silly down there. So, Paul Mason. Local lad scores at the cop end. And it switched down a back in it. Mark Wright looks around with some support and some words of condolence. Straight down the middle from Mason. Probably still would have saved it. That's the risk you take by diving early. 3-2. Mason sends it wide to Thompson. Four minutes to go. Thompson to the far post. Shout from behind. Walk something special, is it, from Marshall? Over the top, and Grobelaar had to be safe. Oh, that would have been a goal to remember. Thompson whipping it in. Witten putting it back, and... Uh, and a bit of the Mark Hughes comes off Mark Wright's knee and Grobelaar's glove just for safety. Ipswich put two players on the line. Grobelaar, his view wasn't impeded. Where's he going? Well, in play news, just setting up a Liverpool attack by spinning it forward. And now it's Fowler against the goalkeeper and three defenders. He's going to have to go alone. 
but Mason had done well to trek back 50 yards. Marshall, few nervous people out there. 30 seconds left on the clock. Time ticking away for Ipswich Town. Stewart. Hutchison and Fowler in the centre. Hutchison gets it off his shoulder. And always worth a shot. That's three is tried, Don Hutchison, but he's yet to hit the target. Made a good run from deep in midfield, though. Shot takes it into stoppage time. Finishes the three goals for Liverpool to Ian Rush, setting out his stall in the very first minute of the game. And he pounced on the mistake by the Ipswich Town goalkeeper Craig Forrest. Bruce Grobelar was to blame for uh, letting Ipswich Town back into the game when one of his clearances cannoned off the chest of Marshall. He'll offer condolences for poor old uh, Craig Forrest. He'll get the sympathy of every goalkeeper in the country for having that ball stabbed out of his hands in the uh, Opening seconds of the game. But what a good victory for Liverpool because Ipswich Town had a very good game. They played very well. Really did make a game of it. All-time score here at Anfield. Liverpool 3, Ipswich 2. We'll talk about the first goal first of all because there were one or two whinges from the Ipswich players that he kicked it out of the keeper's hands. What was your view? Well, i just seen the ball came across and uh, I think first of all the keeper didn't get hold of it. And uh, in my in my view, uh, he didn't have the ball full in his hands, and I just toe poked out there, and next thing the ball came out to me, so and I just tapped it in. And Craig, you've just seen it for the first time. What did you think of the first goal? Uh, well, it's about exactly the way I uh, saw, you know saw it on the first occasion out there on the game. Obviously, a different angle, but uh, the ball took a nasty deflection off the cross, and uh, I just came out and and seemed to have the ball. And uh, Ian Rush, being the you know the player and you know pouncing on opportunities, uh, you know managed to pull it free, and uh, you know the referee didn't see it and gave the goal. 